All right, this video is gonna be about multi-step inequalities. All right, this is gonna be a bit of an experiment because my iPad can't join us on Zoom anymore. Um, so let's say we're gonna solve number 19. Number 19 is a special situation, so it's not really the best example for multi-step inequalities, but if this is still a part of the packet that I've given you, might be a good one that I share with you because it would leave you puzzled. So we wanna try to get those variables on the same side. And so I'm going to add 4x to both sides, perhaps. Yeah, that's not working so good. Sorry about that. All right. So on both sides, I'm going to be adding 4x. So I'll add it here underneath the negative 4x. And then I'll also add it over here. And you can kind of already probably see what's going to happen. And that is that we're now going to have 3 those four x's both cancel and then i have my less than symbol and then i have negative two and those four x's also cancel because while i was trying to get rid of this x and it does cancel i also got rid of this x it also canceled. So I have no X's left. Uh, so we've seen things like this before. Um, means there's not one single solution. There may be infinite solutions or there may be no solution. So let's see, is this true? Is three less than negative two? Well, no, of course not. Um, three is warmer, so it would be greater than two below zero. So three is not less than negative two. And so what we're left with, with no variables, is a false statement, so there is no solution. If instead it had been a true statement, if that symbol had been going the other direction, then we could have said um, all real numbers and we would have shaded the entire number line. We do not need to shade anything on the number line because there aren't any numbers that make this true. All right, so let's see, um, let's try the, the next one that's gonna be a little more like um, a traditional multi-step without having some special situation. So just like multi-step equations, um, we need to distribute, we need to combine like terms, we need to move the variables to the same side if necessary. In this case, there's not any variables on the right, so no worries there. Then we'll be adding or subtracting and then dividing. So the rules are gonna feel very similar to multi-step equations. And then we just have a couple things to consider because it's an inequality. So we do have parentheses, so we'll distribute two times one is two. 2 times 7m would be 14m. Now I'm gonna go and go ahead and distribute the next set of parentheses. So I got three times negative three, which would be negative nine, and then positive three times negative five, negative 15m. And this is less than or equal to and I don't have a great way to type that on Zoom, so I'm gonna type it this way negative 15. So we've distributed, now we're gonna combine like terms. So I see that I have a positive two and a negative nine, those are both constants. They can combine to make negative seven. 14m and negative 15m would be just minus m or minus one m if you prefer. Still less than equal to negative 15. Then we're gonna get rid of that negative seven by adding seven on both sides. So that these sevens will cancel out the negative seven and positive seven. Now I have negative M is less than or equal to negative eight. 
then I would need to divide both sides by negative one. And I'll make that look like division here. So these two have canceled out. We're dividing both of these by negative one. And you know the rule, if we multiply or divide by a negative, we're gonna have to flip the sign. So positive M now, now it's greater than or equal to, and then negative eight divided by negative one is eight. So in addition to our normal equation solving with an inequality then, we will have to reverse that inequality sign because we divide it by a negative one. Even if you don't think of it as dividing by a negative one, even if you just think I need to make it the opposite, you make the symbol the opposite way also. And then this time, because we do have a solution, we can graph and we'll have a closed circle. So we're gonna have a closed circle at eight. I'm gonna use this circle thing. That was probably not a good idea. Close circle at eight. Let's see. Let's try this. That's a little better. So close circle at eight. And then we need to shade to the right. And if we did not, if we had not changed that, symbol, we would have shaded the wrong direction. All right, so just a couple brief examples there. Um, let's see if we can find another one that does have variables on both sides, but they don't both cancel out. All right, let's take a look at number 22. Now that I've kind of realized what I'm going to have to use, what technology is within my reach. So look at both sides. On the left side, there's nothing I can simplify, right? There's nothing that can be combined. There's no parentheses. But on the right side, I do have parentheses, so I can distribute. Four times one is four. And then four times seven M plus 28 M. This is going to be trouble up here. Um, try to stick with the same variable. Now I need to get those variables on the same side. Now it is completely up to you which side you put them on. But for most of my students, um, it's easier to make the graph if their variable is on the left. And so for that reason, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 28M so that I move my variable off of the right side. And when I do that, I'll also have to subtract it over here. I'm subtracting it here and here. The negative 36 is of course still here. On the left side, positive eight and negative 28 would be negative 20 M. Give myself a little bit of space here greater than, and then over here, the 28M, negative 28 cancel, all we have left is four. Now it's just two steps. We're gonna add 36, and get rid of negative 36 to start isolating that one variable. Now that we only have one, I'll have to also add it to the other side. So those negative 36s cancel out. Then we're left with negative 20, the negative 36 and positive 36, my bad, is greater than 40. And then now we can divide both sides by negative 20. And yes, you just heard me say it, divide by a negative. So 
These canceled. Those canceled back there. We're dividing here. Dividing here. So now we're ready for our final answer, which would be M. If I multiply or divide by a negative, flip the sign. Ah, yes, I did. So I have to change that to less than. And then 40 divided by negative 20 is negative 2. So we are going to have an open circle at negative 2. Hmm. I've got to figure out how to get that in the right spot. It's really bugging me because it should make it easier, but it's not making it easier for me. Open circle at negative two and shade to the left. I should not try to um, play with the technology while I'm making a video. Yeah, no, probably shouldn't. So let's just move it to this and shade to the left. All right, so in spite of my um, technical difficulties, I hope the video is helpful and that um, it will help you get through the other problems. Have a great day.